What's up y'all, my name is Jay Cruz, you are watching Threefold Fitness and by popular demand because y'all can't stop asking me for this review, we are going to be doing the review of the Prime Fitness Leg Extension Curl Combo. Um, where do we start? Let's start with first, shipping was very good. It came on a pallet with a cage all around it, wrapped in nice plastic so it didn't get dirty, and it was also bolted down to that pallet. So everything was secure and safe. Now this one wasn't too heavy, so this is 355 pounds. For us to get it into this spot, we had to put it on three furniture dollies to wheel into the spot. And right now, you're probably looking at that footage right now. Now, the thing is though, when we place this down, so uh, once we got into position and we put the feet on, it seemed a little bit wobbly. And then um, uh, you should see some of that footage right now as well. But let me take these off, because this is what stabilized it. Once we put all of these weights, so that's 90 pounds times two, 180 pounds, onto it, it stopped wobbling. So let me take these off and see if it settled and if, and if um, that was the only thing that made it like not wobble. So it, it wobbles sort of a little bit, but it's not the same. Um, the footage you just saw should have shown how much it wobbled without that. So putting that weight on there definitely helped even out the wobble. And I don't recommend using this machine without some sort of weight there because once you put weight on the weight horns and they raise up, um, it's gonna set the weight forward on the machine and potentially tip it forward. But this front foot is so far forward that I don't think that that will happen. But this is for safety. Let's talk about what it does. It does both leg extension and leg curl. The leg extension has eight positions and the leg curl has eight positions for your knee slash ankle. And the back pad here has eight positions as well. At first when I was looking at this and counting the positions, it was like, oh no, there's 10, but there's actually eight. So if you come around this way, there are eight positions you can see all five here, one, two, three, four, five. So that's five for leg extension. But then for taller or shorter athletes, depending on who you are, this would be the shortest setting. This would be the medium leg setting. And this would be the taller leg setting. To give you an example of what that looks like, let me show you. So this would be a taller athlete, not me, I'm middle middle height, so it goes way down to my toes. Middle, it's about right where I should be at. It's right above my foot and on my shins. And then right here, it's a little bit too high. So for someone very small. Now, depending on your knee flexion, these will change here um, in that position. I'm right about the middle, but for somebody that's a little bit more flexible or has smaller legs, they can get their leg really under there. And then for somebody that has thicker legs or less knee flexion, it would be right here. So that is the leg extension, how that works. Let me show you real quick the leg curl. If you come around all the way to the other side real quick, this is why I needed a camera person. There are four settings back here. And I talked about this before, prime signature color is this lime green color and the lime green color tells you every place on the machine that it is adjustable. So here is the pull pin for that. And in order to put it down, you have to have this on four, anywhere between four and one, otherwise this seat will get caught on this seat. Anywhere between five and eight, it gets stuck. So all you do is pull the pin on this side, which I know you can't see, but we'll show some B-roll of that. And then um, you can get onto the leg curl, like, curl position. The other thing you need to change is this one here. So there's the first settings on the bottom for leg extension. Those are the first five there. And then the second set, which is here, is for the leg curl. And I'm gonna put that in the middle here and also the middle here. And then you can lay down over here and do your leg extensions. There's cool handles right here. 
I don't know whether you can see that, but there's handles here so you can get a grip while you're doing leg curls. I personally like to grab this spot right here because it just feels more secure to me and not lean over too much. Okay, so that's not the end of the features. The features keep going. <clears throat> so on this side of the machine, we have three weight horns. If you notice how Prime does things with their plate loaded machines, it's called Smart Strength Technology. And the middle horn right here, which is one, no matter where you're at in the movement, whether the bottom or the top, it's the same um, resistance throughout. When you put it at the bottom, and you're moving, I wonder if I can move it from here. Yeah, okay. So when you put it at the bottom here, if you see this is moving horizontal first, and then at the end it's moving up. So in the beginning of the movement, when you put the weights here, it is easier, and then as you go through the movement, the, the weight is moving up, and that which creates more resistance. So the beginning of the movement's easy, end of the movement's hard. In this spot, it's moving straight up immediately here, and then goes horizontal at the end. So. That means it's hard at the beginning of the movement and easier at the end. I've tried all three positions and also tried a combination of them. They are uh, very smooth no matter what, leg curl and leg extension, super smooth. My daughter has used it, she said it's smooth. Other people that have come here and worked out, they've said it's super smooth and, and smoother than any other machine that they have used. I'm used to using the stuff in like, you know, commercial gyms or even at home gyms and most of them seem like there's like a, a sticking point in between where you can see that the, the pressure is in one spot then all of a sudden it lets off or either way, kind of how this is designed, but not purposefully. So the other machines don't seem as, as smooth as this one does. So in either the extension or curl, super smooth. What other features are we talking about here? Well, the pads on both sides are comfortable. I've heard someone complain about how uh, this pad is designed. I, I actually like it because a lot of them have a really squishy, squishy pad. This one's firm so that no matter what weight you're using, it's when it's too squishy, it can squish and compact too much and uh, it actually hurts your shins. So this is actually a lot uh, better for heavier weight and then for lighter weight, you're, you're gonna be no pressure so it doesn't need to be super soft. So I think it's the right amount of firmness for this. And then the back pad and the, and the butt pad over here um, are also um, firm enough, but they're, it doesn't need to be a lazy boy. It doesn't need, need to be that comfortable. So they're pretty good as well. Um, in terms of adjustments and actually getting in it and using it, the counterweights right here and right here help out with making no weight feel like no weight. So right now, this doesn't feel like, like anything. So the weight when you start at zero is like, I don't know what it says on the website. I don't think it says anything, but it's like maybe five pounds. Those are the general uh, functions on how to use it and the features of it. Some of the things that I know a lot of people are concerned about is, hey, it's commercial pricing, it's premium pricing. Is it a premium machine? I will say 100% it is. If you look at the welds, if you look at the thought process behind how the weight horns are attached here and to ensure that they don't spin, there's a lot of things that go into this that make it not just good, but well manufactured and well uh, thought out. Like the thought process of Prime as they made it with this protector right here for this bar and just the ergonomics of it. What are the things that are just good that I love about it? Uh, it hits all of the muscles the way it's intended in terms of, hey, the smart technology, does that, is that really just like a gimmick or does it work? It does work and the way they have the workout setup on the side, like their recommendation is to start in the middle and then move it down to the bottom and then move it to the front throughout your workout if you can do three sets. And it really does hit in certain ways. I wouldn't do it the opposite way, middle, top and bottom because I tried it just because I wanted to be a rebel and it was actually really hard. So depending on what your goal is and depending on what you're trying to work out, if you're trying to hit different stimuluses, this is cool because you don't have to put the weight in the same exact spot to do the same exact thing. And you can even, from this weight horn to this weight horn, you can attach a band and you can even still use bands with it or chains if you wanted to, which would be weird, but I'm just saying that is possible. Other things that I like when you're doing leg curls, these handles here, 
They're a little bit like over knurled, like they didn't need to be this well knurled. You have a mechanical advantage with your grip right here so that you don't lift your butt off the seat, but this will hold you down. And then the same for the front here. All of it, again, is very well made. I can't say anything better about it currently. What are the negative things or the things that I was surprised about on this machine? Well, for one, this, when you're in the prone leg curl position, this is kind of high. So getting into it, if you come around to this side, you know, you expect to just be able to, you know, lay down in it, but you have to get up a little bit to get into it. And then to get out, you have to also kind of slide off of it or lift yourself up. You cannot go to the right of it to get out because this handle is here. So getting out from the side, you're gonna, you're gonna hit that. So you have to go this way. So for somebody that say is heavier than they wanna be and trying to push themselves out of there after a heavy set or a difficult set, that's gonna be hard for them. Another thing about this that I don't like, I don't like any kind of wiggle in machines in general. Like anything that wiggles when it's not supposed to be, I don't like it. So this one, this piece here has like wiggle in it when you're trying to like hold on. So I don't actually hold there because again, I said I didn't like where these handles are at because they seem a little bit too far down for me. I would have liked like handles somewhere else. But what I do is I grab this spot here and nothing wiggles and it's in a solid from holding right here. I don't know if that's the way it's designed. Obviously it's not because these aren't handles, but this is how you're supposed to do it, which I'm sure mechanically is probably better because your back isn't flexed backwards. But for me, I just don't like just that little bit of play. What I do like about how this is built, and I think it's kind of hard to like, again, even though I say this is negative, I'm not sure how you would fix it because for this position, depending on your size and your leg, your leg length and your butt length or your butt size and your leg length, this needs to go in for, for smaller people like this. And then for people that are taller or have more booty to work with, this has to go all the way back there in order to use the machine. So this has, this can't be super solid because it has to sit inside of this um, channel, but I mean, I, I guess they did the best that they could. I don't know whether with inside of, let me take this thing all the way out and kind of explain it a little bit better. I don't know whether if on this, they could have put some sort of plastic to make this tighter, but they, they didn't and it still moves smoothly. It's just this little bit of wiggle that I personally, um, I just don't like it. It doesn't change the functionality, it doesn't change how it works. I just personally don't like it. Um, another thing I didn't expect, it's not that it's bad, but when you're putting weights on this, let's say we put one here, 45, and now you wanna put another weight here because you want to. Well, 45 plates don't actually fit. So you can't put two 45s there. Let's see if the 35, which people say there's no use for. Let's see if that fits. All right, so I'm back with some 35s. And let's put a 35 here. Let's put another 35 here. Do they fit? Okay, guys, so I found a use for those 35s that people say there's no use for. If you want to stack multiple weights onto this, the 35s will fit on all of them. Let's see if it fits down here. It should. It does. So if you want to put a bunch of weights on here and you feel like you're going to max this out, 35s is the way to go. But it's not like it's wrong or like they made it incorrectly. It's just my expectation. If you see other machines like their back machine, people have multiple 45s on it. So it's just not as strong as muscles, to be honest. So you wouldn't use them. Um, how many can you fit on here? That's the question. Let's just, we'll do some math. Two, six, 
Six is the comfortable amount that you could put in here and still put a clip on there if you needed to. So whatever six times 45 is, 270 pounds, that's what you can max, max it out at. If you want to put tens on here, you can put that as well, which is, so here is the question now. Maybe you're considering this or you're considering their selectorized weight stack. The selectorized weight stack goes to 265. You can fit 270 on one bar and put some more on the weight horns. Their selectorized stack is fully enclosed, so you can't just add a pin and add extra weight to that. So you're limited to 265. So this one, if you're considering between that one or this one, or even any selectorized machine out there, there's a Sornix one, there's, um, or even ones with weight horns. So let's say the Titan leg extension machine, you only have one weight horn to put weights on. So this one you have multiple, so you can get to 270 and you can still add on, do I have 10? Let me get a 10. Oh, my bad. You can get to 270 and then you can still add on tens on the top and tens on the bottom. So you have the potential of going well past the typical 270, 265 pounds for selectorized weight stacks. I'm gonna rewind all the way back to the beginning real quick because we're talking about shipping and moving this thing. So moving this thing was pretty difficult with those three dollies. If you're somebody that has a basement, because I know that a lot of people that have been asking me is like, hey, can I move this into my basement? Can I get it down there? Well, the things you'd have to remove on this is the seat in order to get it um, angled down like a hallway or um, like a stairwell. So you would have to take the seat off and you'd have to take this leg, leg pad off. And I think that you could get it down through a stairwell. The whole thing weighs 350. So I don't know how much weight this side would take off, but you would definitely have to separate them. I don't recommend doing this by yourself, but definitely have a friend, a buddy to grab this. And if you were gonna move it downstairs, you would want to tie this piece right here. I can't lift it right now because there's weight on it, but you would want to tie this against this so you could actually use this weight horn to hold this side and then use the other weight horn to, to bring it down the stairs. So that would be my recommendation. If you have a basement, you definitely could buy this and bring it down there, um, but you just have to dismantle it in half and that's possible. I will say that is my, uh, my rushed initial review of only having it for a week and a half. In like a couple months from now, after we use it more, I'm sure there's other things that will come up that were like, oh, I wish this was better, or I really like this. But for now, that is the initial review of the Prime Leg Extension Curl Combo. What's up, you guys? Uh, Editor Jay here. I was editing this video, and I realized I've been talking with a friend this past week, and he was explaining to me how the single leg curl and the single leg extension machines by Prime are actually a lot different than the combo one and I've just been realizing this. I was going to include it in this video but I've been compiling all the information together. It's not like a lot and it's not like super like robust but there are big differences and I want to get that to you but that will be in the next video. But for now, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, like the video. If you have comments, put them down below. If there's anything uh, I missed that you still have questions about, please ask those questions. Uh, once again, thank you for watching the video and we will see you in the next one.